More than 23,000 Americans who have died from the coronavirus. Now the deadliest nation in confirmed COVID-19 fatalities. How many of those people had other health risks at play, though? Cannot find anywhere the definition of what it means to die from this virus. The idea that we're going to allow people to massage and sort of game the numbers is a real issue because we're going to undermine the trust. As deaths in the U.S. from COVID-19 have increased, the death toll count has been misinterpreted and even played down by some. For many years, the CDC has tracked the total number of Americans who die every week from pneumonia. For the last few weeks, that number has come in far lower than at the same moment in previous years. How could that be? Well, it seems entirely possible that doctors are classifying conventional pneumonia deaths as COVID-19 deaths. That would mean this epidemic is being credited for thousands of deaths that would have occurred if the virus never appeared here. Carlson was referring to CDC data that was also widely circulated on social media. But the CDC said those data are incomplete. And others on Twitter pointed out that the so-called dip in pneumonia cases is caused by a lack in reporting and has occurred in past years too. President Trump has also cited misleading figures on swine flu and seasonal influenza to minimize COVID-19 deaths. We lose thousands and thousands of people a year to the flu. If you look at uh, swine flu, 17,000 people died. But this is like comparing apples and oranges. Numbers for those diseases are after-the-fact estimates that account for what deaths could be related to flu infection. This is known as excess mortality, statistical modeling on the number of deaths beyond what death trends show. The actual number for COVID-19 will most likely be much higher, but that will only come to light two to three years from now. Here's a comparison showing the first 65 days of the 2009 swine flu and the 2020 COVID-19 outbreak in the U.S. And if everybody's being automatically classified, if they're found to have COVID-19 as a COVID-19 death, we're going to get a very large number of deaths that way, and we're probably not going to have an accurate count. If people have an underlying condition, it is exacerbated by the virus and therefore included in the death count. Medical experts on Trump's coronavirus task force have rejected the theory that death toll numbers are inflated by patients with prior illnesses. So those individuals will have an underlying condition, but that underlying condition did not cause their acute death when it's related to a COVID infection. In fact, it's the opposite. You will always have conspiracy theories when you have uh, very challenging public health crises. They are nothing but distractions. In fact, public health and government officials claim the death toll is most likely undercounted. For instance, New York City announced a revised death count that showed a 57% increase over the previous figure. Many people who die at home are reported to a patchwork system of responders who don't follow a uniform system for investigating cause of death. Until mid-April, the CDC only counted deaths in which the presence of the novel coronavirus was confirmed from a laboratory test. And a widespread lack of testing in the early weeks of the outbreak in the U.S. means people who most likely died from COVID-19 were not counted. Plus, tests in certain rural areas, prisons, and nursing homes are still hard to come by, as they are vital to prevent the virus from spreading among the living, they are not being used on those who have died. 